Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be setting up a disposable WordPress environment using this service called InstaWP. So this is an amazing and convenient service which allows you to, uh, to quickly launch a disposable WordPress instance. And it's blazing fast. It does so in under one minute. So one of my favorite features is the fact that it sets up SSL for you absolutely free. So there is no need to tinker with any settings to, um, to install SSL certificates yourself. So it's very beginner friendly. And in terms of its flexibility, um, you're able to select your WordPress and PHP version when you're installing your WordPress instance. And there's also a code editor that's included free of charge. So you're able to edit your code when you need to. And in terms of pricing, their pricing structure is really simple. So there's a free plan that includes um, 48 hour expiration, free SSL, like I mentioned. Um, you can also get access to free subdomains and up to 10 websites. Um, so if you register, your websites stay up to 48 hours. They stay online for up to 48 hours. If you don't, they stay online for up to eight hours. If you do register, um, your website limit increases from three to 10 websites and their plans are relatively affordable. They start at $9 per month. So check it out. It's instawp.io. So right now I'm going to show you guys how to launch your disposable WordPress instance. So on the left, you just need to click this big green button that says launch WordPress. And you see here, we can select our WordPress version and we're even able to install beta versions. Um, so let's leave it at 5.8. We can choose our PHP version. We can go from 7.2 all the way up to 8.0, but we're going to leave it at 7.4. And the option to disable cache is coming pretty soon. Um, it will be introduced in future updates. So down here in this box, this is where we select our custom site name. So we can either leave this blank to get a random site name, or we can type our site name. So let's name our site. We can call it something generic such as site one. And let's take a look at this section over here on the right. Just let me explain this really quickly. So here you see that you can enjoy some more benefits if you create a free account. So these benefits include being able to deploy more than three websites. Also, you're able to increase your expiry time up to 48 hours. And you'll also be able to recover previously created instances. And you can also launch instances from Slack. Now, this feature is one of my favorites. You can actually um, launch a disposable instance right from Slack by typing slash WP in any, um, in any chat right from the Slack app. So I really urge you guys to sign up for the free account. So let's go back to launching our site. We just need to click this green button that says launch your site instantly. So our site is being installed and we can see the different stages of the installation. So right now it says um, installing SSL. So we should have our site pretty soon. All right, so our site has been installed. It is ready. Um, these are our login credentials. We have our username as well as our password and also our, uh, our website URL at the top. So if we click this, well, let's open this in a new tab and let's log into our website. So once we open our site, we just want to type slash WP admin at the end of our URL. So once this page opens, we just want to copy and paste our WordPress credentials. All right, so let's copy and paste our username. Let's copy, paste it right here under username. Go back and copy the password. Let's paste it. Click login. And there we have it, our WordPress dashboard. All right, so let's go back to our InstaWP page. And we are going to be creating our WordPress environment as a registered user. So if you have not registered, click this button, or if you have just click login. Next, you want to enter your email address and password once you're on this page. And once you have logged in, you should be taken to this dashboard. So here we have our website name, our time to expire. And over on the right hand side, we have our WordPress and PHP versions. So let's quickly launch a random WordPress instance. Click add new, leave everything as default and click create site. So as you can see, we just created a random WordPress instance, which expires in about 48 hours. 
So we have our randomly generated name, which is VIN name. We have our WordPress credentials at the top. And over on the right, we can see our WordPress and PHP version. So next, we have a button with a key icon. And clicking this button allows us to automatically log into our website. So let's try to log into our second site. So there it is. And let's go back and log into our first site. All right, so let's go back to our dashboard and let's move to our second button. So to view your logs, you can click this button. And the next one is the code editor. So let's wait for it to load. All right, so this is the code editor. So you can actually use this to edit your WordPress code. So if you wanna edit a CSS style sheet, for example, or if you wanted to edit some quick PHP or HTML, um, this actually lives in your Insta WP dashboard and it's absolutely free, so check it out. All right, so let's go back to our dashboard and let's check out the next button. So here we see we can view our credentials. So if we click this, we can see our username and password. Next, um, we can delete an instance. So let's delete our second instance. Simply click delete, then click delete again, and it's gone. Um, we can access FTP or SSH. We can map a custom domain. And by the way, these are pro features. So if we click one of them, we see that we need to upgrade to access its options. And these are the pricing plans. So they range from free all the way over to agency. So you can view the features of each plan as well as their corresponding price um, to find the plan that is right for you. So we're done with this page. Let's go back to our dashboard. So let's check out the next feature, map domain. This is a pro feature as well. And the next feature is save as template. So you can actually save one template for free. So we would need to upgrade to the pro version to save an additional template. And the reason why we are seeing this upgrade notification is because I've already saved one template. So the next feature, reserve site, this is also a pro feature. So let's check out our templates bar at the top. So here we see we have our template is called standard. Its status is ready, created two hours ago. So if we go over to the right and click actions, we can actually delete this template. If we go back and we try to save a template, we see that we're now able to save it. We can give our template the same name, standard. Click save. And this is how you save a template. And if we try to save another one, we see that we will get the upgrade notification again. So let's move to the next tab, use with Slack. So this is one of my favorite features. You can actually add this app to Slack. So let's say you are working on a project with a buddy and you wanna test something quickly. Um, all you need to do is, um, is to go to any channel or any chat and type slash WP, click send. And once you're done, your website will be created instantly and your credentials will be sent to you. And once you click your URL, you'll be taken to your WordPress website that you can log into. So here it is. All right, so I really hope this video helped. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next one.